What happens to my solar panels during a blackout? There's a common misconception in the solar industry that if you have solar only and the grid goes out, you should still have power available. It's actually not legal for your solar system to continue producing power when the grid is out. That is, of course, unless you have battery storage and not just any old battery storage, but battery storage that can do what we call islanding, which means it disconnects your home from the grid and allows your battery storage to keep on your solar panels and and run your house, almost feeling off grid. Now, not all battery storage is made equally and not all battery storage will actually stay on. So here are a couple of scenarios and situations that you can expect if you have solar panels and battery storage installed on your home. If you have what we call an AC coupled system on your home, let's say you've got an N phase microinverter system and a Tesla Powerwall 3 AC coupled on your home, the Tesla Powerwall 3 in a grid out will be able to give you what we call limited backup. If you have a single phase home, we can usually back up your entire home. But if you have a three phase home, we're only selecting things like internet, fridges, your favorite PowerPoint so you can binge watch Netflix, and of course, lights, because we all wanna see where we're going in a blackout. The next scenario that you might have if you got a system from PSC is you might have N-phase microinverters coupled with N-phase IQ5P home batteries. These batteries are still a single phase battery, which means we're going to be able to give you limited backup that is all your favorite things and of course the internet the difference with this n phase system is that when you use n phase micro inverters with the n phase iq 5p home battery you have a feature called black start this means if you're in a multi-day blackout and you run your batteries flat overnight, your solar panels will wake up in the morning, look for your batteries and start to charge your batteries. Sometimes with a Tesla Powerwall setup, we can't actually achieve that. If the battery goes flat overnight, you are without energy until the grid comes back on. So Enphase does have a slight advantage over the Powerwall in that scenario. The next scenario that I'm going to give you is the trump of all scenarios and all all backup in my opinion, and that is SIG Energy's new Sigen Store products. The SIG Energy product is developed to be grid tied or off grid, meaning that when it is grid tied, it can very seamlessly go to an off grid mode. The SIG Energy product will be able to back up single phase homes or three phase homes. Synchronous three phase backup is something we've been looking for in the solar industry for the past 10 years and SIG Energy have finally nailed it. And the cherry on top for this product is that if you live in a rural location or somewhere that frequently gets blackouts and you want the ultimate layer of protection, the SIG Energy product has generator input. So you can connect any diesel generator with a two wire auto start straight into your SIG energy gateway and you'll be able to have not only solar and batteries running you off grid but a generator for if you needed it worst case scenario. You have to think when we're in times of trauma and blackouts we usually don't have that much sun. It's excessive bushfires and that smoke layer blocks out the sun. It feels like we're living in dark time or it's when there are lots of storms which means they're a thick cloud cover. That's a thing to consider if you're planning on being off grid for 5, 10, even 20 days.